lieutenant of a longtime former Proud Boys uh, chairman, Henry Enrique Tario, has now uh, pleaded guilty uh, to sedition charges. His name is Jeremy Bertino, 43 year old from uh, Belmont, North Carolina. And he is a potential key witness who could be cooperating and testifying against other members of the Proud Boys, including Enrique Tario. And so he is in fact the first member of the Proud Boys to officially plead guilty to seditious conspiracy for his role in the January 6th Capitol riots. And this is a pretty big deal. Now, since he has pleaded guilty, he might get some leniency when it comes to sentencing. The Proud Boys are facing trial for their role on January 6th in December of this year, so in a couple of months. And this is pretty big news. I've got more details in regard to what Belmont's role was on that day and the kinds of weapons he had on him on that day. Before I get to that though, Cenk, I wanna hear from you. Yeah, so um, you will still see to this day, in fact, we do interviews like this all the time with Trump supporters. You can check them out on Rebel Headquarters. Uh, where they'll say, oh no, it's Antifa, or they were tourists, and or they were doing no big deal. And then you will see someone from the Proud Boys say, yes, I'm guilty of sedition. Uh, I did it, and if I don't confess now, I'm going to get a lot of time in prison. So uh, obviously they're taking a, a plea deal here, and they're probably turning evidence against the others. But you do not admit to sedition. Uh, unless you did sedition. And Jenk, what is sedition? I think it's important for people to like understand how serious yeah, that charge and, is. Yeah, and it's actually like relatively simple. It's very easy to understand in this context. So it is an act of uh, against uh, the government, right? Say I, I'm defying the government. Uh, I will not uh, listen to the government's rules, and I'm acting against. The, the government, otherwise known as America, right? And in this case, it's super easy to understand because they attacked America's capital. Imagine if a foreign country had sent thousands of people to attack America's capital. We would have already invaded them and bombed the bejesus out of them and probably killed a couple hundred thousand people. So they just happen to be internal, but it's sedition. Well, and when when it's a foreigner, it's not sedition, it's they're just simply attacking us. When it's someone inside the country, it is sedition against your own government and against your own country, right? Right. And so it is a very serious charge. And with all the money that the right wing has to defend these folks, if they didn't commit sedition, it'd be super easy to get off. The evidence has to be overwhelming, and it obviously is. And it is the Proud Boys, it was the right wing, unquestionably, and they have admitted it. Obviously, that won't change anybody's mind in the right wing because they hate facts, but these are facts. So what he pleaded guilty to, I think it's important to understand the wording of it. So from December of 2020 to January of 2021, Bertino quote, did knowingly combine and conspire and agree with the Proud Boys leaders and other persons known and unknown to oppose by force the authority of the government of the United States and to delay by force the execution of the laws governing the transfer of power, the two page charging document alleges. So again, that is what he pleaded guilty to. And what's fascinating about this is his role in the prosecution of other members of the Proud Boys, including Enrique Tario, and in a sign of the sensitivity and potential importance of his testimony, prosecutors have agreed that if he provides substantial cooperation, they would seek leniency in sentencing and could enter Bertino into a Justice Department witness protection program. So there is some concern about his safety if he does engage in you know cooperating with this trial and this investigation. And if you're wondering, well, what was his role within the Proud Boys? Was it a big role? It absolutely was. Bertino held a place in the top inner circle of the Proud Boys. And he's been accused of, again, conspiring to impede Congress with angry Trump supporters. He apparently, Bertino's home in North Carolina was searched in March at the same time that Tario was arrested on charges that he had at least that he and at least four others had directed, mobilized and led a crowd of 200 to 300 supporters onto Capitol grounds. Many in the crowd are accused of leading some of the earliest and most aggressive attacks on police and property. And by the way, Bertino was caught with all sorts of weapons. He allegedly possessed two pistols, 
a shotgun, bolt action rifle, and two semi-automatic AR-15 style rifles with scopes. Bertino was convicted previously, by the way, back in 2004 of first degree reckless endangerment in New York State, which is a felony. He was sentenced to five years of probation with a period of local jail time. Yeah. So it's kind of amazing, right? Like. In 2004, we didn't have any leniency in our justice system at all. You know, you'd hear stories about people being locked away for decades over that their third strike, which wasn't even a violent crime. You hear about what he did in 2004, first degree reckless endangerment. It's like, we'll give you five years of probation. Yeah. <laughs> no, look, that's why the right wing is so shocked that the law is actually being applied to them now. It's almost never is. And so, um, but in this case, uh, with the January 6th insurrection, uh, there was uh, three different levels of people, and he's in the second level. So there's the foot soldiers, the prosecutors are going after all those folks with a heavy hand because they're regular Americans. So you can actually apply the law to them, even if they're right wing, because this was over the top and it threatened the establishment, right? Uh, then there's the lieutenants and captains, those are the organizer of, uh, of the riots, those are the Proud Boys leaders, the Oath Keeper leaders. And they're being charged with heavier charges like sedition because they're organizing the disruption of the authority of the government, right? And so that's what's happening here. And so that Enrique Tarrios and and Stuart Rhodes, who's the head of Oath Keepers, etc., appear to be in a lot of trouble given guys like this flipping. But if you'll notice, as we've said throughout, there is a there is not a single general that has been charged. Right, so the people who actually organized the coup, the fake electors, etc. Now you've got Navarro and Bannon up on other charges, but not on this, and and a lot of it has to do with contempt, etc. Trump's up on nothing, of course. He's the one; he's the lead organizer. Roger Stone's got no charges against them. So all the people who actually organize this are in the elites, and so the Justice Department is much more wary. Of going after the elites, so that's why the actual, the bigger organizers have never faced any consequences, and I'm not sure they ever will. Well, we'll see what happens in December as the trial begins. You know, against the other members of the Proud Boys, but I think the point you made earlier, Jank, is the most important point, which is. If you pay attention to these prosecutions, if you pay attention to the identities of the individuals who are being charged and convicted, it's not Antifa, it's not Black Lives Matter, it's not a group of foreign tourists who are just having a delightful walk through the Capitol. These are individuals who very much thought they were going to overturn the results of our democratic process and essentially hand victory over to Donald Trump, even though he did not win the election. And that says everything. And they're all right wingers, and the people giving the evidence about them are also right wingers. Yeah. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.